Hey guys, in our previous video, we have learned how to write the positive scenario. Today, we are going to learn how to write the negative scenario. So let's check our test graph. The second test case is to verify the sign up is failed. So we have to load the URL and we have to go to the sign up page and we should not enter anything and then we have to click on the sign up button. And of course, sign up should fail and the error message should display. So let us check that. So if I go to my sign up page and if I don't enter any value and if I click on the sign up, here we can see that we are able to get this. Now for this element, we didn't write any of the code. So let's try to inspect this and find it. But before that, let us understand one thing. It is not necessary that whatever the components we are seeing within the page, we have to write within the page itself. What I'm trying to say is, for example, if I uh, click on the sign up without any value, I'm able to see this as an error message. Technically, it is known as toast message, right? Now, if I go back to my login page, here also we can see that it is going to come. So, writing this element in two different classes doesn't going to help us and that is actually not the concept of page object model. The more reusable code we can write, we have to design our framework or the pattern in that way, right? So, before inspecting the element, let us quickly create a folder and within the pages, I'm just going to create a folder called common. And within the common, I'm going to create a class as common.js. Of course, you can give it any name. I'm just going to keep it very simple. And here, as usual, we have to write the class and then followed by common. And then within this, we are going to write something. And of course, we know that we have to export this as well, right? So exports dot common equal to common, right? That's it. Now we will try to inspect those. So once I click on this login and if I do right click and inspect, you can see that it is going to disappear very soon, right? So I have already a detailed video on how to inspect those. As of now, I'm going to use the second way that is going to the source tab and then we can click on the F8 or function F8 to pause the entire DOM. Once the DOM is paused, we can go and click on this element and then we can take this element, okay? So, and here we can take this class actually. So class equal to toast message. I'm going to write a CSS for this. So double slash div, then followed by dot class, or uh, not double slash. So div, basically we are trying to write the CSS value for this, right? So here we'll write this. So toast equal to dollar sign and then followed by the CSS value, not this one actually, I think. So it should be div dot. So div dot toast message. That's it. And of course, we have to import this from the protector. That's it. Of course, we'll write a function here. So we'll write two function to check whether the toast message is displayed or we can write that within the same method where we will pass some of the data. For example, in this case, we are getting that the email address is badly formatted. And if I go here and if I give something, maybe some email ID, and if I click on the sign up, you can see that the password message we are getting. So we have to validate the error message, right? So we'll see both, we'll check both the conditions, whether the toast message is got displayed as well as the text, whatever it should give the appropriate message, we are going to check that as well. So here we can say like validate, Toast, something like that, any meaningful mess method name, that's fine. And within this, of course, we have to pass the message. And then we'll first check if the toast is going to be displayed, right? So here I can say expect and then followed by await and this dot this element and dot is displayed is displayed is the function. And we are expecting this to be true. And in the next line, we'll also write another expected conditions away this dot toast dot get text. And we are checking the text to be something, right? So to be what are the value we are going to pass in the script. That's it, very simple. So second one, it. And within this, of course, I have to pass some of the script name. And then followed by within the anonymous function, we are going to call this, right? Now, if I go to my sheet, I can copy this. 
and I can paste over here. That's fine. And within this, of course, the function should be of async. And here we'll write await, then followed by header dot click sign up. And after that, we want to click on the sign up page. I mean, click on the sign up button. So click sign up. That's it. Right? Now, both the methods have same, but we know that these are coming from different classes. So we can have it or else maybe we can change the method if there is a necessity or if it's confusing you, right? So I'm just going to keep it very simple. So I think based on the object name, we can identify which one we are clicking actually. Now, of course, as soon as I click on this, um, the sign up button here, of course, we will expect this to come, right? So uh, let's delete this and let us check what is the message we are going to get. So here it says that email it is badly formatted. So I'm just going to copy that. And here, before that, of course, we have to import the common class as well. So const then followed by common equal to new then followed by common, right? So here we just type this very quickly. Yes, that's it, right? So we are able to import it from the pages common and within this we have this class. That's it. Now here I can say again, await is the await there let us quickly check and of course we are using this await that means of course i should make this as async as well and let us try to call this so common dot uh, validate toast and within this i have to pass the message so that's going to be this message here so not sure if i can copy that yes i am able to copy it right that's it so we are able to validate the toast message. We are validated. I mean, we are able to click on the sign up and then we are able to do this as well, right? Okay. Now, before running this, we'll run this all this together. So we'll just quickly write another spec here. So TC003 to verify that sign up fails. And again, same thing. So nothing much here. So here we have to enter the valid email and do not enter password and click on the sign up button, right? So let's quickly write that. So I'll wait, then followed by, um, of course I have to again click on the sign up button because, um, okay, we can continue it from the same, but I like to con I like to click the sign up button again. So I'm just going to copy that and here, and after that we can. So let's call the await then followed by sign up dot. We have to enter the email. And now, of course, we have to pass the valid email. So I'm just going to copy this guy from here and paste over here. And after that, we have to click on the sign up button, right? So sign up, then followed by sign up button. So the second type it, click sign up. That's it, right? So we are done with the step. So here we'll just click on the, I mean, enter the valid email, not enter the password and click on. And here I have to give this as error message, right? So I'm just going to copy this. And here I will say await then followed by common dot validate toast. And within this, I have to pass this as a string, right? That's it. So we are done with this. Now let's quickly write the fourth test case as well. So here it's to verify sign up fails. And we'll write another it block. And within this, just copy paste. Okay. And the test case, I think we should not enter email. We should enter a valid password and click on the sign up. And this should be our uh, expected text. I mean, the error message. So here again, we're just going to repeat the same thing. So you can just copy actually and paste over here. And we'll click on the sign up first and then followed by we'll, uh, which one? This one, right? So do not enter email, enter valid password. So I'm just going to make this as enter password. And here we will give some password. So let's quickly copy from here and paste over here. And then we'll click on the sign up and error message should come. So that's going to be the error message. So let's quickly copy this and paste over here. Yes, life is all about copy paste. That's it, right? So we are able to do this. So here, let's quickly recap. So I think we are done with the sign up page. So we have written so far like 
for the positive this one this one this guy is positive this three guys are negative in this case right of course i know you can write better test case than me just for demo i'm just making it as much as simple it could be and if you notice one thing before each and every test case i'm just trying to click on the sign up button here and here and here as well right so if something is going to be very repetitive repetitive any of the test uh, step we can make it before all the hit blocks so i can use this to use the before each concept here so before each and of course it should be also async and here i'm just going to call this line up here right so alt up arrow that will move in your editor and i'm going to delete those guys so control d to select multiple lines at the same time matching line and i can just use the backspace or delete and that is going to do the job right that's it so we are done so i hope this makes sense to you so this guy is repeating for all the four tested i mean test cases so i just move that into the before each and only once we are going to load this url so that is going to be our before all and of course we want to maximize our browser and we also want to set the timeout implicit wait timeout right so i'm just going to make this as browser.manage and this guy we can give up to 30 seconds i mean 30 seconds maybe so that will do our job okay so it should it should be in the format of milliseconds so that's the reason i have given like um, 30 thousand so that's equivalent of 30 seconds right that's it now we can run our test up here so i'm just going to click on this run test and let's see what happens i think the first test kit uh, will get failed because i have already registered with the same email so that should be fail actually and our browser is not running and we got some exception let us see Um, we are getting this await for this password because I think I forgot to use the async keyword over there. So yes, as expected. So it should be async or else it is not going to work. Now let's quickly uh, click on this. Before that, we already saw this that we have already registered with this particular email. So I'm just going to disable this XIT in the sense this script, I mean this test case is not going to run now. So let us try to run this again and hopefully it should run. Okay, so our test kept run successfully and here we can see that um, okay, so we got some error okay we got some of the exception let us understand why we got this so first one it says that uh, not this one so first one is this guy expected false to be true the reason is uh, we have expected true so the toast message should be displayed but it takes few seconds to display the pop-up i mean the toast message but since we do not have any explicit wait conditions the first one got failure and same applies for the second one as well and in the third one if you see here it says that the email already registered by another account the reason we got this is because um, we are trying to click on the sign up button for each and every before each but what happened is when i the script ran very success, uh, very fast and what it would happen is like uh, before getting this value so once i click on the sign up and if i do something and again if i click on sign up if you see the sign up button is actually blocked by this toast notification so of course it is giving us i mean it is not able to navigate to the page and that's the reason the data is already persisted over here right so what we can do is actually we can um, learn the expected conditions we can do it but that will take some time so we will do that in a separate video so i'm just going to do some of the alteration here i hope you got the idea here so instead of before each i'm just going to make this um, i'm just going to refresh the page again and again so that will not cause that problem and here when we are validating the toast message we'll just add a few seconds to sleep i mean browser.sleep so after that we'll just see the error message right so here it is going to wait for two seconds 
and I think that's pretty much enough. Let's try to run this again. So here we'll go to our spec file and we'll go on the describe. So hopefully it should run this time. So let's see. So here we are getting this, the email address is badly formatted and here the password should be. And then for by again, we are getting the email address is badly formatted, right? So I think our test is completed. Let us go back. And here we can see that four specs, one failure and one pending. Pending is because of XIT. And this guy is coming. The email address, address is badly formatted to be error of this guy. So, okay, so we have extra dot. I think that's the reason here it got like that. So if I go back and check, okay, so I have passed the wrong value that is the reason it got failed so i have two errors here that is the reason so i'm just going to remove one error here and let us try to run this again and this is how it works in the real time as well so of course we do make mistakes and we'll revert our code or we make our changes in the code always no one can write the stable script in the beginning of course i agree that so this is what you are saying it's what happens in the real time as well now, if I go back here, we can see that, of course, our all the test script got passed and our test script is working fine now, right? So let's just quickly recap whatever we have done so far. We have written three test cases now, and I know it's very long video, but I hope you got the idea very clearly, right? And one thing we done, one thing we changed here is this validate toast. And within this, we have written this expected, I mean, the sleep as of now, but I will change this in later on with the expected condition. Okay, so that's it. I think we are pretty much done for this video and I hope you got the entire idea how to write the test script and how to do the positive as well as the negative scenario. So thumbs up if you like it. If you hate it, just uh, click on the dislike button. I'm happy to take the feedbacks. and. Uh, hope you learned something new and in the next video we'll see we'll see also the login test case. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.